You'll see how much this stone is worth on websites. It's not a difficult stone to identify, and you certainly won't have any doubts when you find one. Did you know that many stones like this one, which are considered to be ordinary stones that you can find anywhere, can actually have a value? That's right. There are some types of stones that are considered simple, so easy to find that you can look for them anywhere, including in the middle of construction sand. Apparently, they are not so beautiful in their raw state, which is why they go unnoticed by many people, but they are still stones that have their value. In other words, it is possible to make money by collecting these stones in the wild if you want to. So in today's video, I'm going to show you what these stones are and how to identify them. People often have doubts about the value of each type of stone found in nature. And the truth is that all stones have different types of value depending on their color and quality. In other words, if you have two quartz crystals, one of which is dull and full of cracks, and the other is translucent, the second crystal will be valuable. And this is true for all gemstones, including rubies, sapphires, emeralds, and diamonds, including other factors such as color, rarity, and size that make the same crystal have different types of value. Want to see something interesting? Amethyst, for example, is a type of quartz. But despite this, amethyst is considered a more valuable type of quartz. And as mentioned above, amethysts also exist in different types of value depending on the quality and color of the stone. But today I would like to show you another type of stone, less common than amethyst, but very valuable. I'm talking about petrified wood, which can be found everywhere, including the region where you live. If you've never heard of petrified wood, you should know that it's not just a cartoon, it's real. And it's literally what its name says, when wood turns to stone. The simplest explanation for the formation of petrified wood is that millions of years ago, the soil was very alkaline. And when a tree fell in a forest, this ended up protecting the wood, preventing it from decaying, so it didn't rot. Then, over the years, that wood absorbed the minerals that were in the soil, and these minerals began to make up the entire cellular structure, turning the wood into rock, as if it were a mold that forms stone, preserving all the characteristics of the original wood. This is how petrified wood is formed, and it can be found in many places around the world, including the United States, Canada, and Australia, in a variety of soils in different biomes. There are even several regions with large amounts of petrified wood called xyloliths, that's why it's good to know that, depending on the laws in your country, petrified wood of the fossil type cannot be sold, making it unmarketable. However, there are several other types of petrified wood that form colored stones that you can cut and make into jewelry. These are the stones that will have a really high value. And depending on the color and rarity, they can have an average value of about $10 to more exorbitant values that exceed those of the most coveted gemstones. So now it's time to show you how much these stones are worth in practice and how much they sell for on the biggest websites on the internet. So I ask you to follow me now because we're going to check the price of these stones around the world. Let's see how much it's worth on international websites. It's not a difficult stone to find and you certainly won't have any doubts when you find one. So watch this video and follow along as we look at the prices of some types of petrified wood sold around the world. We're going to look at the Etsai website which is an international site that sells just about anything. So we're going to do a little research on petrified wood here. There are pieces of all prices. The biggest one here, the first one in the corner on the left, a 3.9 kilo piece, almost four kilos, worth $101. Keep in mind that all these prices are in dollars. Then we see a bead with a cord selling for $10. Another very large piece sold for $425. This large piece weighs 46 kilos. Next, we see an oval cabochon for $6. Note that this other stone here, this moving part, is a kind of agatized petrified wood and is selling for $100, almost 500 riyas. This other cut piece here is valued at $59. You can't get an exact idea of the size here, but it seems to be medium. Look, another piece cut for $40, another for $34. Look at this other cut piece that looks almost like the shape of a bullet for $301. There are several different prices, and that's because the values don't depend so much on size, we don't know more or less what the criteria are. Some pieces are cut and sold for $50, 
We also have slabs cut and polished on one side only. Other slightly larger pieces, weighing 46 kilos, this other piece here cut for $450. A pair of earrings that look a lot like some kind of jasper, check it out. Sold for $89. Another piece here for $2.47, a little less detailed. Note that there are several types of petrified wood, check out the other one here. The one in the video here for $155, apparently an agatized petrified wood, for $79. Look at this beautiful one, this half blue one for $20. This other one, full of beautiful designs, is $58. There are some very large pieces and some smaller pieces. These are some of the prices of these pieces around the world. Look, a pair of drops for $90, $29. Look at the range of prices and how well these stones are selling. Have you ever seen a stone like this? Note that it wouldn't be possible to call it a pattern because there are several different types. Look at this one, just cut and polished on both sides. A beautiful stone that sells for $100. Stones you can find in every river out there, in places you can't even imagine. I've even found them in construction sand from which we've taken various types of petrified wood. And as we've said, these stones are color independent. They come in different colors shades and prices. Each one is unique. No two are alike. We've even shown you several videos in the field where we show you how to find these stones, how to visualize them in the field, how to identify them properly to know if they are in fact petrified wood. It's a relatively common stone in the United States, and it's worth a lot of money on the international market. You can even sell the stones you find on these sites. So if you are really interested in making money with stones, in practice, it is a highly valued and constantly growing market. And if you are a beginner and would like to learn more about the world of stones, don't forget that by accessing the first link in the description, you will have access to the best gemology book for beginners on the internet, with all the tables and concepts you need to know to identify and analyze any gemstone you find in nature. All this in a single, very accessible digital book that will teach you how to identify diamonds and other precious gems through real tests that you can do at home without the need to buy expensive, sophisticated equipment. You can be sure that the content of this book will set you apart when it comes to selling the stones you find out there. I know it sounds like an exaggeration, but when you watch this video, it will all make sense. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Good luck gem hunting.